The Norfolk City Council supports extending light rail through the city all the way to the oceanfront. Yeah, and last night's vote comes just weeks before Virginia Beach voters will vote yes or no on that light rail referendum, leaving some wondering why now. We sent in on your sides and McNamara to get some answers. She joins us now from the light rail station in Norfolk. Anne? Well, guys, this whole idea of extending the tide all the way to Virginia Beach and having the Norfolk Council support that is a new one. The council says within the last week they started to hear about it, and we have a copy of that paperwork. It came from the city manager's office. The Norfolk City Council is the latest group to get on board the light rail extension to Virginia Beach. Last night, council members endorsed the project, but at least one pointed out that it may influence how beach residents vote on November's light rail referendum. The timing of it was, I think, in my view, was not a a good time for us to be voting on because I don't want to appear like we're trying to influence another city. Councilman Andy Protegiro proposed tabling the vote until after Election Day, but in the end, he voted for the project, saying he didn't want it to look like he was against light rail and its future. Turns out the timing wasn't coincidental. We did get word that there was people that did want the timing at this point. The paperwork for the vote came from the assistant city manager's office. The documentation was presented to council this week. The one vote against it, Councilman Paul Riddick, says history played a part in his decision. When uh, light rail actually became uh, a desire in this particular region, Virginia Beach initially would not even allow uh, an, excuse me, an advisory uh, referendum. Uh, and most of the uh, persons who have been here for a while realize that that was because Virginia Beach didn't want African Americans having access uh, to the beach. Ultimately, the decision to proceed with the project lies in the hands of Virginia Beach voters, who Protegiro says will help pay for light rail if it becomes a benefit to the entire region. Any light rail into the future has to include the surrounding cities. Norfolk no longer can take that burden. Also, when agreeing to this, council also agreed to move forward with a study that would bring the tide to uh, the naval base and all the money that's already set aside for that. By the way, it's $1.8 million. The city says is there for that purpose, and it was just time to move forward. Live in Norfolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. All right, thanks a lot, Ann. And, of course, it is still too early to process uh, in the process right now to know exactly which route the light rail will take to the base. To see all of our coverage of light rail from the very beginning, log on to wavy.com and click on this story.